Hello everyone, in this video the topic covered is percentage change. The formula of percentage change is change in value over original value multiplied by 100. The change in value is the new value minus the original value. It doesn't matter if the new value is smaller than the original value because percentage change looks at the change in percentage whether positive or negative it doesn't matter so we'll look at the first example question so a pair bought a house for seven hundred and eighty four thousand six hundred and ninety eight pounds pair sold the house for seven hundred and ninety five thousand four hundred and eighty one pounds calculate the percentage profit pair makes First, you state your formula. You usually get a mark for stating your formula. Next, you input the values given in the question into the formula. Remember, you have to put the new value minus the old value over the original value times by 100. So, to calculate the percentage, the change in value is 10,783 over the original multiplied by 100 to get it into percentage. And the answer is 1.3. Three seven four one five nine two three one. Therefore, pair makes a one point four percent profit. Now we're going to look at an exam question. Tin buys a twenty four pack of crisps. Tin pays three euros for the crisps. Tin sells each pack of crisps for fifty cents each. Work out tin's percentage profit. So to find a new value, multiply 24 by 0 0.5 because 50 cents is equal to half a euro. So we know that Tin made 12 euro from selling all 24 pack of crisps. Then you state your formula and then you input the values into the formula. So it would be 12 minus 3 over 3 multiplied by 100. 12 minus 3 is 9, so 9 over 3 times by 100 equals 300%, so 10 makes a 300% profit. 300%, it seems like is exaggerated, but 300% means that 10 made 3 times as much as he paid for the crisps initially. To remember, percentage change can be either positive or negative. If it is a negative percentage change, don't forget to have a minus sign in front of the percentage. The price of a car went down, so you could say the percentage change was minus 2.4%, for example. And then leave the percentage the way you see it in the calculator, only round the number if necessary. For example, if you're given your final answer, then you can round it. Like, for example, with the example question, you saw that it was quite a long number, so I rounded it to one decimal place. Usually, if the question doesn't tell you what to round it to, round it to one decimal place and then put next to your answer what you rounded your answer to. But only do that if they don't tell you what to do in the question. I hope you found this video useful. Please click on the subscribe and bell buttons for more content from this channel. And please feel free to share. Thank you for your time.